This is going to be the largest swipe that I've ever done, and it's going to be for my aunt. She needs to fill this space. Now, obviously, it has to match the furniture, and this is the color palette she wants. So, uh, mostly blues and some uh, hints of uh, champagne gold. I'm going to be using a mix of metallics and iridescence and color shifting paint, which are listed in the description of this video, and I'm going to walk you through step by step on how to do a large swipe. So, let's begin. Hi. Okay, so here is my massive 30 by 40 inch canvas. This here is about 70 ounces of black base paint. Okay, now with the base paint, I'm just going to kind of spread it all around. Because this is going to be a large swipe. Okay, and I have a lot of area that I want to cover, and I don't want to overspread any of the cells or the lacing. So I want to spread this base paint out as much as I can better, and I think I'm going to start, we'll start about right here. We do one line right there. Now when swiping, I don't want to swipe over any of the black part, well at least not most of it. I want everything I'm swiping over to be colors, because that's how you get more intense and vibrant, uh, vibrant lacing and cells. So this, yeah, like I said, is for my aunt and my uncle in their new house. And let me tell you about my aunt. I love my aunt more than I can ever even describe. She is like a second mom to me. And she is the craziest, most fiercest, most badass bitch I know. She's not the kind of person to sugarcoat anything. She is going to tell you if she likes it or not. Okay, so this here, this is one iridescent color that I'm using. And I don't want too much of it, but I do want to start the swipe with this color. And I'm just going to kind of go a little bit right there, just over the gold. Okay, and I'm just going to go just a little bit and just kind of fill in those lines. It's going to give it a little extra sparkle. Um, and the thing with this is that you see it more when it dries. You don't really see the uh, the result of an iridescence, at least not this one, this brand, which is in the description. Um, but the painting dries and then you see it and then it pops. It is so cool. This here is my line of a cell activator. This is Cosmic Black, which I actually also have uh, on my website. Now, this little four ounce bottle should last you through several paintings. All you need is a little bit. And I'm gonna say with the black, with the cell activators, um, the ones that I use and that are on my website, this is the least dense of the three, okay? So I'm just going to use a very thin layer, okay? Because I really want all these cells here to pop, okay? I'm just using a really thin, let me get it over here so you can see. Then later, I'm kind of like, I'm pushing, I'm kind of spreading a little bit. Um, as I've said in some of my previous videos, I like to put the cell activator direct, directly on the tool that I'm swiping with because, because I have control over how much I'm using and how much cell activator and the thickness of cell activator that you have on your swipe tool, it does put, have an impact on how the lacing is going to turn out, okay? All right, here it goes. So I'm gonna start here. I'm gonna go nice and slow, okay? Actually, I'll start, what should I start? Should I start this side or this side? Because this is obviously gonna be two swipes. I'll start right here, okay? Start right on that base. Swipe nice and slow. And all the way over. You always want
want to have different size, you know, swipe tools. I use this. This is just a plain old spatula um, that's used for cooking, but it works perfectly. You just want to make sure whatever tool you're swiping with, you want an angle right here because if it's not, if this is straight, then you're going to drag everything into the painting. You don't want to do that. Okay, so make sure that whatever you swipe with has an angle. I'm actually going to tilt this just a bit. About like that. Okay. Obviously my cabinet canvas wasn't completely level when I started. So that's why I got paint falling over on this side. Okay, and I'm going to go... Same thing. Straight lines going across. For big canvases, make sure you have room to walk around it. Make your life a lot easier. Okay, and I'm gonna do a close-up so you guys can kind of see how I do this. I'm just pushing and kind of spreading out a little bit. Don't want too much. Okay, here it goes. So what I'm seeing right now, I'm loving this part. This part right here, I'm hoping to tilt off to get rid of some of that, those kind of muddy, shitty looking cells right there. Um, but we'll cross that bitch when we come to it. I'm loving this here. All right, I'm gonna do another swipe, obviously. You know, I debated maybe wrecking it with a marble. Should I wreck it with marble? I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. You know what? I'm going to think about it and I'll be right back. Okay, I thought about it. And you know what? I'm going to do it. Now, I have... This, this is a two-inch marble. It's huge and it's heavy, which is perfect for a canvas of this size. All right, so... Um, my aunt did say she wanted just a little bit of negative space. So if we don't get negative, negative space, that's okay too. But... Let's go ahead and give it a shot. I'll place my marble, let's place it right here, okay? All right, this is gonna be challenging. Okay. If you wanna do a wreck with a marble, you really gotta make sure that you have a very thick layer of paint. Otherwise, the paint's not gonna come back together. this way. This is going to look really good when it spreads. Um, all right, probably going to do, I think I want one more line right there. When you see that the paint is pouring off faster than the marble, that's probably when you want to start, or you could even do this. You just take your finger and just lightly brush it through, not through the whole thing. Okay, cool. Right, and I'd say I'm ready to spread now. Let's do it. Almost tripped over a cord, and my face would have gotten buried in this. That would suck. So that it didn't take care of, but it's not bad because all of this right here, these are like the, the shitty muddy cells that I was talking about, and I left those for last. Very cool. Now all I have to do 
do is touch up some of the corners, and I think it's good to go. What do you guys think? Thank you guys so much for watching my video. This is definitely the biggest swipe that I've ever done, and I'm not mad about it. If you have any questions, comments, or if you just feel the need to slap me for any reason, please do so in the comment section. Till next time, bye!